Here's the Marvel Legends black and gold suit Spider-Man, one of his costumes from the upcoming No Way Home movie. This costume only appeared for like 3 seconds in the trailer and we already have a figure of it. I don't know why but the name of the figure is printed in 5 different languages. Here is the side of the box and it is similar to the other Spidey movie figures whereby there is a logo at the bottom of it. The back of the box is yellow just like the other two No Way Home Spideys. Top of the box has the movie Spidey logo and here's the bottom. Here's the figure on the clamshell. It has a yellow background just like the other No Way Home Spidey figures. Let's get the figure out. The figure comes with a pair of gripping hands and web shooting hands. I wish it came with a pair of fists. How is he supposed to do a punching or fighting pose without fists? And not forgetting the left leg of the BAF. Just the leg itself is about 3 quarter of the figure. So you can imagine how big the BAF would be. The scalp on it is also very decent. You can see the sculpted texture on the surface of the BAF. The hands of the black and gold suit is the same as the far from home and upgraded suit. If you mix them up, the way to tell them apart is that the paintwork on the black and gold hands are glossy red. The upgraded suit has a matte red and black paintwork on the hands and the far from home spidey has printed texture on it. Same goes for the web shooting hands. Glossy red paintwork on the black and gold spidey hands, matte red on the upgraded suit and the printed texture on the far from home spidey. For the appearance, the black and gold suit has the same exact body mold and head scalp as the far from home spidey. You can see the same web line scalp and costume design on both figures. For my figure, the gold lines are painted well except for the left shoulder where the gold line is slightly off the grooves of the web line and also a slight blotchy paintwork at the back of the neck. Overall, it still looks okay though. The gold on the spider logo is painted well both at the front and at the back. One awesome thing about the gold paintwork is the circuitry paintwork at the elbow, waist, and shin. The black parts of the figure are matte black, but it actually has a subtle and awesome circuitry design in glossy black paintwork on the head, bicep, torso, and thighs. There isn't any circuitry design at the back of the figure though. One minor thing is that the gold paintwork at the waist is kinda awkward, having it painted like this and then suddenly becoming a line. The red paintwork on the inner side of the forearm is different on these three spideys. Overall, the paintwork on this black and gold spidey is great, especially the subtle circuit design on the figure. I definitely foresee Hasbro releasing another version of this figure with the normal arms, just like how this suit looks like at the back of the box. The Peter Parker head from the upgraded suit can be used on this Spidey. Articulation. The figure is able to look up this high down and all around. The head can't really tilt left and right because it doesn't have the barbell joint unlike the integrated suit Spidey. Sideways this high up, bicep swivel, double hinge elbow joint, hinge and swivel on the wrist, shoulder butterfly joints, ab crunch forward, and back, waist swivel, legs able to split this far apart, Van Damme split, this much to the front, thigh swivel, double hinge knee joint, and ankle hinge and pivot. Pretty much the standard articulation for the MCU Spidey figure and exactly the same articulation as the Far From Home Spidey because they are actually the same body mold. Here's how he lines up with the Doctor Strange from the Armadillo BAF wave, Astral Doctor Strange, 
10th year anniversary 3 pack Strange and I think this is the Dormammu BAF with Doctor Strange. Here's the Mark 85 and Worthy Cap and Jonah Jameson from the same Armadillo BAF wave. Iron Spider, Homecoming Spidey, Homemade Suit Spidey, and the Integrated Suit Spidey. It is good that the height is consistent for the MCU Spidey figures, but the head of the Homemade Suit is kind of slightly bigger. Overall, I like this black and gold Spidey more than I thought I would. The design of the Spidey in the promotional pictures is kind of funny because you see the red on the forearm. But when we have the figure in hand, the amount of details on it, the circuitry paintwork, the gold web lines on the figure, and the overall matte black of the figure really makes the figure look good. And like I said earlier, I'm sure we are going to get another one of this figure with matching forearms instead of the one with the red forearm that we have right now. If you're on the fence about this figure, I do recommend you getting it. Because the costume is really unique. The black and gold is really something different. Something that I think we have not gotten before for a Spidey figure. Thanks for watching. Do check out my other reviews over here.